So how many houses do you have now? Oh, uh, there you go. How many houses do you want? Well, I think I want as many as possible because, you know, real estate gives you money. Yeah. You know, so I, ideally, I think every two, three years, I would want to own a house. But even as a young man, ideally, you know, how many houses should a young man own in general? I mean, at least to even start life. Oh, one is okay, but just to be very comfortable, I think two, because in, anything can happen. You don't, you don't need, it's an assurance. Mm -hmm. If you get a lot of property, you acquire property, it's an assurance that, you know, you, you're securing your future. But you don't need more than a house to start life or to get married or to start a family. One is just fine. I, mm -hmm. People can even get, get start, you know, their families even by renting apartments and houses and whatnot. Yeah. Or some even can end up even, you know, living in an apartment, rented apartment. It doesn't really change anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't really think, think that. Do you live in your own thing. house, James? No, not yet. Not very yet. Very soon. You're looking, but you're looking to do yes, that. What is your favorite place to travel to? I say this <laughs> all the time. I say, I love Ghana. Just I'm not even kidding. Like, I can travel out and I'm itching to come back. It doesn't mean I don't travel. Yeah, I'm talking about when you travel out. What's your favorite destination? I think I'll go. I'll go. I'll go with France. Why? I love the life. I love the parties. I love the fact that no one, no one cares about you. You know, you can just do you. Yeah. And I, 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 just, I, I love the scenery. I love how, and I love your food. But yeah. You get. Yeah. But, but. I love the party. You love, you love yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. And what class do you like to travel? Does it really matter? Oh, for me, I don't. I don't. I don't really think it matters. If I'm the one paying for it, I'll, I'll, I'll fly with the car. <laughs> <laughs> but if someone is paying, who is that someone paying? No, no. But if, for instance, I have to go for a program or something, I'm getting invited to make an appearance, mm. you know, for a show or something like mm. that. I mean, it's an order. That, that you get your business class yeah, ticket. Yeah. yeah. You know. John, you are always traveling. Where do you even go? I, I don't know why you didn't ask John that question. Yeah, that's, don't that's worry. That's Zongo matter. <laughs> eh? Eh? What do you say? I, I, that's the economy matter. We call it Zongo. <laughs> that's the Zongo matter. Yeah, thank you. I like traveling because yes. traveling gives you some form of some exposure that you can't get anywhere else. I mean, if you travel and you go somewhere for two days, what exposure have you got? You'll get a lot of exposure. Really? Yes. Just for two days? Yeah. yeah don't I you need to so. immerse a little bit longer? You, you can, but it depends on why you, you travel. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I love traveling. Yeah, you don't go out. You don't go out. Because we traveled the other time, and then yeah. I wanted to, um, to convince you guys. That, no, I'm getting where this is coming from. Because <laughs> she's asking how you can get exposure in two days. Yes, and I'm I'm now understanding. Yeah. That, I mean, you yeah. can get exposure. I mean, look, let me give you an example. Like like there was a time I went to Singapore, and I went there for two days. But what I experienced in the two days is enough to last me like a couple of years in terms of where I see myself or what I want Ghana to be in terms of agriculture, in terms of tourism. So traveling gives you some form of exposure. So when you go, is it for business or is it for pleasure? Most of the time it's business, and sometimes it's pleasure. It's just to, I, 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 what makes me happy is the fact that you look at a country and say, oh, you know what, this year maybe I want to go to India. And then you realize that when you go to India, you have neighboring countries. You can probably go to Cambodia, you can go to Thailand. So what kind of business do you, are you into when you travel? I'm into agriculture and okay. I'm into tourism as well. And so when I go to, most of the time when I go to these countries, I like to see what they have to offer in terms of... Is it official when you do sometimes? Or you just do the exploration yourself? No, I, I just do like exploration myself. I mean, I, that's what I do. I just like to do the exploration myself. And really, it doesn't matter whether it's business class or economy. Charlie, so, but this thing must be very expensive. I mean, traveling... Who, who, who pays wait, for the, for the, for the traveling for you? Because you're going to Cambodia and Singapore. I mean, let, really, let me, that's let, not... That's let, not let, that let, doesn't come cheap. Let, let me show you the trick. Tell let me, me show you the show trick. Show me, please. No, let me show you I think James trick. and I would like to know. Yeah. Cool down. Let me show you very the trick. Very much so. The trick is that, for me, let's just say I, I decide to go to Asia. Now... With, let's say, an economy, with $1,100, you can fly from here to Singapore and back. Economy. That's like you 44 million. Cool down. That's 4,000. <laughs> <that's it. Cool laughs> calm down. Calm down. down. Calm down. But realize that when you get to, let's say, Singapore, it will cost you like $200 to fly to Philippines or another $200 to fly to Bali. So when you add everything, it's like $2,000. You can save $2,000 in six months, depending on the work you do. No, not so everybody you, can oh, do that. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. You pay for hotel, 
hotel. But, you know, when you go, do you sleep? Where yeah. do you sleep? In the hotel. Your, your move. Your, your hotel. Movement. Yes, it's but it's I'm just saying for me because. Oh, I like, you want to go? You say I'm John Devello. They know who you uh, are. They know you. There. They know, I know. I don't know you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the point is that for me, I like traveling, so I budget for that, and that is why I like traveling. And sometimes you can break it down. Let uh, Let's just give an example. There are certain airlines that. They do a lot of stopovers. Let's just say from here to East Africa, from East Africa to London. They will stop in like four countries. So you can actually get down in those four countries. And then just, just you know, while away the time. Two years ago, I went on a cruise to the Caribbean. And every day you, you I mean, you sleep and you wake up in a different country. But when you, the, the, the price of the, the cruise was like $600. But then I was able to go to like seven or eight different countries for that price. I love traveling, so I'll budget for that and our budget to travel because for me it just exposes it just gives me some form of experience but james that is i think when you see a lot of these things especially with social media you see if your age mates your friend a fellow who's doing all these things and you probably can't afford to do it right now you know and the pressure of wanting to also i guess aspire to yeah. even be where this person is like for instance in john's story yeah do you feel like that is there some pressure you know even from your peers or from people around you that will make you want to stay age and john is going to go yeah. from, you know i think before you start you know getting the opportunity to travel around and all of that i don't think it's pressure i think it's more of hunger like you want to know what it feels like you mm -hmm. want to know how that feels like you know mm -hmm. you don't get the chance to travel around mm -hmm. you know i mean back in the day well, John, John, John was there, there, there. You get, it. and every time John was, was traveling, there, there, there. I mean, John was known. I'm talking about popularity okay. wise in Ghana, because mm -hmm. John started before I started. Of course. And John, you know, John was will travel to Australia. The next month he's in Spain. Next he's here, and all of that. And then I was there thinking, ooh, so when am I going to get the chance to, you know, travel around like that? I, I, I asked myself. I don't think it's pressure. I feel like you, you just keep asking yourself, like. When you are going to get the chance to to to, to do Don't that. you ask yourself what is he doing apart from the popularity to get all to all get to travel to all these places that I am not doing or I can't get to do to also go? No, because I genuinely thought that it was because of his exposure at the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think he was the one even paying for it. He, if he, he's the one, he said he was giving us calculations, so obviously that means. So that you're the one pays who pays for, for all your trips, John. Yeah. Most of the time, well, most of the time I'm going for a, for a program. Or well, most of the time, I yeah, most of the time I'm going for a program or something. I mean, but if you're going for a program, that means that it's it's sponsored. Yes. And so when you get yeah. there, then you take opportunities to do other things. Perfect. But yeah. that's on someone else's time. No, it's not. So let me give you an example. Let's just say this year somebody has contacted me to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. I'll tell the person, you know what, you this is Australia that I'm going. Can you get me South African Airways or so this is a, a different airline? So that when I get to those countries or whatever it is, I can be able to spend a day or two. Mm -hmm. Or when I go to South, um, um, what kind of work? When I go to Australia, it's just like four hours to Bali. It's just like five hours to Malaysia. It's mm -hmm. just like an hour to Tasmania mm -hmm. or to Bora Bora, mm -hmm. which is like six hours. So you get a chance to travel around and then you come back. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's just about budgeting and it's just about... about so so if, a fan, if a fan throws you an invitation and says, look, I have... A ticket for you. I want to buy a ticket to go to Australia. Would you accept it? For what? Just to go. You want? I want you to go with me. Yeah. No, you are going to. You're going to Australia. Yes. Oh, oh, no. The person a is fan, in Australia. If yeah. a fan says, John, yes, come to Australia, come and visit me. I'll pay for. I'll pay for it. For no, I, I wouldn't go. You've never done that before. I haven't. Would you do that, Jay? I'll think about it. You will go if a fan says all oh, expenses paid for, business or first class. It, it depends. Is it a guy or, or a female fan? Andre, a female fan. Andre. If if I'm dating, wait, 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 I won't. I'll go. If I'm dating, I won't. No, if I'm dating, I won't because I don't think that whoever I'm dating would feel comfortable. I'm making a scenario. Calm down. I don't think whoever it is that I'm. If he's alive, you probably would even if you're dating. That's what John is trying to say. That's no, no. He, he's hitting me because he knows that I'm dating. Okay. I was just making a scenario. If, if you weren't dating. Yeah. If I wasn't dating. I'm, I'm sure I'll go. You go. Yeah. You don't know the fan, just a random person on, on, on your Instagram But that's the thing, page. it's not random. It's you not random, yeah. You have to know. Obviously, for the person to make that offer, yeah. it won't just come out of the blue. Yeah. Okay. If you yeah. just come out of the blue and say, Tali, yeah. hi, my name is this. I want to buy a ticket to come to Spain. 
you to go do, 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 but do, do, don't do. you think that a lot of a lot of these young a lot of young men are overreaching wanting to be something they're not you know creating i mean if you ask me smokes and mirrors you know a facade which is not really there and they have to now um sort of keep up the appearance that they've created out there don't, don't you think so a lot of young men are, i mean and again correct me if i'm wrong a lot of young men are doing that lately yeah i know especially in the in the clubs you know they'll 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 end up buying about 50, 30, 20 bottles and they can't even afford, afford to buy it. Mm -hmm. They go and then they come back you know, to pay in, in installments. It's something that's going on now. And I feel like it's giving people pressure. Mm -hmm. Most of the perks that I will probably enjoy, I don't even have to pay for, for them. You know? But there, there's someone out there who's not known, who's not on TV, mm -hmm. and also sort of wants to belong. Mm -hmm. So he feels like the only thing to attract, you know, at a certain amount attention. of attention is to go all out or to, you know, flaunt his, his property, his cars or his money in the club or, you know, travel, make people know that he has it. Yeah. Other than that, he, he, like, yeah. he, he, won't, he won't be known. And some of them, because of that, some of these young men have resigned to date an older woman so they can actually get, they can get by. Yeah. They can get a few favors here yeah. and there. Have you dated an older woman before, James? Oh, yeah, I have, I've dated an older woman, but not an old woman. She's probably like, say... What's, what's yeah? the difference? What's, no, no, You've dated no, an older woman, no. but not an I'm old woman. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Abrewa. No, what's your beer waiting? Your beer waiting in the chair. Hey, your beer waiting in the chair. Wait, something, someone who is older than that. Let me answer my question. Wait, I was trying to say, I was trying to say that, I don't mean someone who is extremely old. Older than I am, someone who's like maybe a couple of years older than I am. Only a couple of years is relative. Like two, what three, four. I'm almost four. Four years. I'm, so you yeah. have been to somebody who's like in her late mid forties, late no. forties. No. 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 Are you sure? And yeah, Kaya, sure. you don't remember. John, have you seen an older woman before? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hmm? A date older woman that. What is them older? Ah, now ah, you're asking. Now you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, older woman, but older woman before, like a year or two. That's older and richer. Yeah, I guess. No. No. <laughs> you haven't seen an older woman before. I'm just gonna say, what is them older? Somebody older than you. Like somebody, a year older is, is older. John, somebody older than you. <laughs> Ten years older. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. Five years older. Was, she was richer than you? No. She, it's just love. She, it's I, nothing but a number. So it's, it was just pure love. It, it has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with it. It's just about... <laughs> it is nothing but a number. And that's what I... It's just the same as me dating somebody who's 10 years younger than me or whatever you are. So would you, but would you date anyone who's older than you? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my fingers nice. <laughs>